I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be doing stand up again. Stand up. I had missed stand up. I missed you guys. I missed you guys. We are talking about love. There is no book about love, so I might be right. Or you might be right. Who knows? Like, I saw there is a couple who stays next to me. This couple, they look in love. Like, their pictures on WhatsApp and Facebook, they are so in love. They invited me to church last week. So when I went there and I was talking to the guy whilst waiting for the woman who was still preparing, I was like, you look so happy in your relationship. What is the secret? He was like, no, brah, no, brah. All relationships are like a woman's Instagram account. What you see in pictures is not what is in real life. Like my relationship now, it feels like I'm acting Harry Potter. I was like, damn. I was like, but anyway, like when did you know that she is really the one? Like when did you notice that she is the one? He was like, to be honest, when I saw the two lines on the pregnancy test, I was like, oh my God, she is the one. But if you tell her, I'm going to deny it. I'm like, don't worry. Just remind me to buy condoms on our way back from church. That was so crazy. <laughs> but I'm glad to be a comedian. I'm glad to be a comedian. Because I thought of doing other things during the lockdown. I thought of doing tattoos. I wanted to be a tattoo artist. But the way I post on Facebook, it's so disappointing. I couldn't write a simple post. I wanted to say, I can't find my spectacles. I, end up, I ended up writing, I can't find my testicles. <laughs> like I only realized that six hours later when my grandpa replied on that and said, you know what, it's very common. And another girl was like, you got balls to be telling me on this post. <laughs> that was really crazy. But then as a tattoo artist, I realized that it would be so crazy because a client would want a tattoo written, God's angel. But I'll mess it up and write God's angle. And he'll be like, hey, you wrote God's angle. That's not angel. Then I'll be like, you are familiar with the series Orange is the New Black? Angle is the new angel. <laughs> I'll probably die after that. But talking of relationship statuses, like nowadays it's easier to ask someone their HIV status than their relationship status because people don't really know generally because some people they just walk out of relationships so if someone wants you to be their ride or die you need to ask the real questions don't ask what is your favorite color ask the real questions like how many of us are riding because you might be in a taxi and there's a lot of people riding and also, if someone tell you that, you know what, I'm not dating anyone, you need to ask that other question. Is anyone dating you? Because that's a different question on its own. And some people can tell you that they are single, but that's just single on Facebook. You need to ask the real question. You need to ask the real question. And some girls, they use women logic, where they'll be like, but I slept at his place three times. And I have his earphones, and I have his woody, so we might be ride or die. No, somebody else has his heart though. So you need to ask the real question. Other girls, they ask the question late. Like this happened last week when we went to church. I met this amazing girl, like she was so amazing. She looked out of my league. I didn't know what to say to her. So I was like, look, Vision, shoot your shot. What's going to happen? So I went to her, I was like, look, I saw you were, coming, you were coming from the bathroom. Did you realize that there are condoms in the bathroom? Is that what they mean when they say that you find protection in the house of the Lord? She was like, you are funny. I was like, I'm a comedian, follow me on Instagram. And that went well and we were chatting. I ended up inviting her to my place. I was like, can you please come over and help me look for my face mask? She came over, like she really came over. I didn't know that it was going to work. She came over with a toothbrush and her pajamas. And also, she came with a Bible, written good news. And she was telling me things like, God is watching us. I'm like, really? This is not good news. Like, I was like, but why do you have the Bible, though? She was like, my grandma gave me this Bible. She said, this is the only truth. Always carry the truth with you. I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm running out of hints to tell this girl, like, let's go and sleep. I ended up using my condom as a toothpick to say, so, I have the child here. She was like, I realize that condom. I recognize it. You took it from church, right? 
I'm like, yeah, we can use it. She was like, no, I'm allergic to those free condoms. <laughs> that was really crazy. That was really crazy. But the morning after, that was late, where she was asking me, so Vision, what are we doing? I'm like, we are still looking for that face mask, remember? She wasn't happy. She was like, Vision, what is this? Like, what are we? I was like, we are children of God. She was so angry. She hit me in the face with that Bible. That's when I realized that the truth hurts. <laughs> but relationships are amazing, guys. Like, I love relationships. I'm happy in my relationship. Because in relationships, you are able to tell your partner silliest things. Like, you can tell her the silliest things that you can ever think of. And they have to listen to you. Like, I was telling my girlfriend that my favorite color is the color gray. I love the color gray so much that I bought myself the book Fifty Shades of Grey. But there is nothing about the color grey in that book. The person who say, never judge a book by its cover, that person was right. Like, I tell my girlfriend that, remember that time when you asked me, Vision, am I the only girl in your heart? And I said, that's a grey area. Like, that's how much I love the color grey. And she was telling me that, but Vision, my favorite color is nude. Like, what color is nude? I've never ever heard of a color nude. In my crayon box in primary school, there was no color nude. And I've never heard of a kid asking like, can I have your nude crayon? I need to color my dog. Talking of nudes, like the first time I met my girlfriend, it was so tricky because I asked her for nudes. She was like, Vision, why are all guys the same? Why can't you love me for who I am? Why do you want my nudes? I'm like, duh. To see who you are, that's the reason why I want nudes. <laughs> that's crazy. But nudes, people judge you when you have nudes in your phone. Like, I try to find a good reason for having nudes in my phone. But you can't find a good reason. Because nudes are treated like weed. When they are not yours, they are bad. That's why <laughs> but people feel like there are people who are hard to love. It's not like people are hard to love. You just need someone who understands you. You need someone who understands you. Like, I blame my parents for being hard to love. Because my parents never told me that they love me. Like, they never ever told me. Okay, one time, we were watching a movie. And in the movie, I was sitting with my dad. And in the movie, the father was telling the kid that I love you. I looked at my dad, I was like, do you love me? He was like, what, are you drunk? I bought you school shoes last week, what does that tell you? I was like, it probably told me that I needed new school shoes. He was like, hey, go and play outside. That was not fair, like, that was not fair. He never told me that he loved me. But then, that night, he went, he got drunk. 2 a.m., he came back and he woke me up. He was like, Vision, I love you. Like, you are my son, I work hard just for you like i love you so much you are my son my mom came and said it's 2 a.m let him sleep i was like stop mom he's busy talking to me like it was so amazing that he told me that he loved me i was so happy in the morning then i went to him i'm like dad do you remember yesterday do you remember last night he was like i was so drunk last night forget everything that i've said i was like but but he's like forget everything that i was saying i was so drunk I felt how it feels to be in a friend zone. Like, that was so crazy. And also, our past relationships, they make us so broken that we go into new relationships and we are hard to love. But it's just because we are broken. Like, my other girlfriend, she was called forever. She was from Zimbabwe. I don't know about her, but something about her told me that our relationship was going to last forever. Something about her, I don't know what, but something told me that that relationship was going to last forever. Like forever dumped me and started dating my cousin. And dumped my cousin to date my other cousin. I'm so worried that forever is going to date my father. Like she's busy climbing my family tree. Like it's so crazy that in my relationship now, my girlfriend is not allowed to say, Vision, I love you forever. But she tried to help. She was like, Vision, what if I say, I'll love you till eternity comes. But I'm like, girl, you are not helping. The second name of forever is eternity. Like, it's so crazy. <laughs> love is a beautiful thing. We all need someone to say, like, you know what? I love you. You need someone to listen to your silly stories. Like with my current girlfriend now, she listens to my stories, and that's amazing. 
Like I can tell you simple things like, you know, my favorite color is the color gray. I love the color gray so much that I bought myself the book Fifty Shades of Gray just to study more about the color gray. But in that book, there is nothing about the color gray. I think the person who say never judge a book by its cover, that person was right. And baby, I love the color gray so much that remember when you asked me that am I the only girl in your heart? And I said, that's a gray area. That's how much I love the color gray. <laughs> you know, then she was telling that, look, her favorite color is nude. Like, what color is nude? Women have weird color that they know. Because in primary school, I never heard of the color nude. I have never heard of a kid saying, can you give me that nude crayon? I need to color my dog. Like, what is color nude? And talking of nudes, like I had an argument with my girlfriend the first days that we started dating. Like I asked her for nudes. She was like, what is it with you guys? You only want nudes. Why can't you love me for who I am? Why can't you love me for who I am without the nudes? I'm like, duh. That's the same reason why I need the nudes, to see who you are. But nudes are treated like weed. Like, you know, when they are not yours, you're like, hi, I don't want those. Which is crazy. Yo, 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 lockdown was so long. Lockdown was so long for me that I was getting lonely. I wanted to tell someone a joke. Like, I walked to a stranger the other day. I was like, look, can I tell you a joke? This stranger looked at me. I was like, but you are rude. Tell me your name first. I was like, my name is Vision. They were like, whoa, let me tell you two things about you. Number one, you are a Zimbabwean. Number two, you are an Uber driver. I was like, no, no. No, I drive Taxify. I drive gold. <laughs> like, that was so crazy that people just assume who you are. But anyway, I love being from Zimbabwe. I miss my grandpa, man. I miss my grandpa. Last Christmas, I went home and he was asking me about Cape Town. He was like, so how is Cape Town? I was like, Cape Town is amazing, grandpa. Like, they are amazing beaches in Cape Town. He was so excited. He took a photo album and he opened it like, this is Linda. She was a good bitch. I'm like, no, I don't mean those type of bitches, Grandpa. No, Grandpa. Then he was like, so what do you do in Cape Town? I was like, Grandpa, we go hiking. He was like, what is hiking? I was like, we go up a mountain or up a forest. He's like, oh, we also did that. We went hunting. I'm like, no, this is not hunting. We just walk up a mountain. He's like, for what? Are there bitches up there? I'm like, no, 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 Grandpa. No, Grandpa. The other reason why people feel like other people are hard to love is because of something that they call constructive distancing. I'm like, what is constructive distancing? It sounds like social distancing. Then someone was like, social distancing, it simply means stay away from people. Nowadays, people, they just walk out of a relationship and you don't know if you are still dating or not. That is called constructive distancing. Or people, they make you feel like you are dumping them. Yet they dumped you. I'm like, wow, that sounds familiar. Because I was dating this girl and she started dating some other girl, some other guy. Then she removed her password from her phone so that I could see what she was doing in her phone. I looked in her phone. I realized that she's telling the other guy that I'm dead. I don't know what hurts more, knowing that I'm dead or that she's already moved on. I asked her, she was like, Vision, I'm sorry. Then I went to my friend, I'm like, look, I dumped her because she was cheating on me. My friend was like, I'm sorry to tell you. That was constructive distancing. You didn't dump her, she dumped you. She wanted you to just say it so that you can keep yourself respect or if you still have that. I was so angry and I went to her, I was like, look, I need to talk to you and your boyfriend. She was like, Vision, you can't. I'm like, why? He said, you are dead to him, remember? Like, that was so painful. Like, that was so painful. So, that makes people hard to love and it makes people not easy to love. Which makes it hard. That's why I don't even know if I'm in a relationship or not now because I need my girlfriend to tell me every time that I love you. Like, if she told me 10 times yesterday, she has to tell me 12 times today. Because if she doesn't, then I'll be like, do you love me? But... Relationships are amazing, guys, because being single is crazy. Being single is so lonely. Don't be 
fooled by people who say that being single is amazing. Being single is crazy. Like I was so single and lonely that I had to go and join a single parent support group. I know what you are thinking. Don't you need to be a single parent to join a single parent support group? No. No, you just have to go on Instagram and take screenshots of believable babies. Like take pictures of babies that are believable. Then you just go to the group and you'll be like, no, oh, isn't she nice? Like, isn't she beautiful? Like, that's amazing. And it's easy to hit on baby mamas. You just have to tell them that your favorite food is baby carrots and baby potatoes. And sometimes you want to eat some baby mamas. Like, it does work. It's only crap that when she has to come to your place, now you have to buy some baby food. And it's so expensive to buy baby food. That's really crazy. I love love, man. I love love. But love, it comes when you least expect it. When you are not expecting it, that's where you find your real love. Like the way I met my girlfriend, it was so amazing and embarrassing at the same time. Like I was trying to shave my pubes. Then I almost recircumcised myself. I was bleeding so bad. Then I went to the clinic. The nurses who were there were like, pull down your pants. I was like, there is everyone here. They put me in another room and they tried to save my life. That was amazing. There was this girl. She was amazing. But then she went outside for a while, then came back. When she was busy working on me, she called everyone like, hey, come and see. Like I was just there waiting, looking there and there were oh, five, six people looking at me like down there. I don't know. I'm like, guys, is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? Then they were like, hey, keep quiet. We are busy working here. And I heard them saying, hey, I wasn't lying. Ne? I wasn't lying to you. Then I was like, what's happening? Then she looked at me. She was like, you are from Zimbabwe, right? I'm like, you got all that from down there? She's like, no. I read your file outside. I was like, oh, okay, that's crazy. But then I was like, look, thank you for saving my life. So can I take you out on a date? The following weekend, I went out on a date with her. She wanted to see pictures in my phone. I was like, no, that's private. She was like, you want me to tell you what I saw on you the first day that I met you? I was like, no, no, let's not go there. That was crazy. But then I was like, but why did you agree to go on a date with me? She was like, the first time I saw you, I saw what I was looking for in a man. That was so confusing. But this girl is so amazing. It's so amazing that I can't believe that I'm dating her. Sometimes I just send my friend photos of her. And my other friend didn't believe that I'm dating her. And my friend was like, you are not dating that girl. Like, there is no way you have convinced that girl to date you. I'm like, what is your scenario? Then my friend was like, either you were hiking, then you went to pee, then this girl was passing by, then she saw what she was looking for in a man. That's why she's dating you. I'm like, no, no, it didn't happen that way. But actually, this girl is amazing. Like her pictures on Instagram, they're amazing. But sometimes when I look at her pictures on Instagram and I look at her, it doesn't make sense. I'm not saying she's ugly, but she's amazing. But her Instagram pictures, they are way beautiful than she is. Sometimes I start blaming myself. Of like, okay, Vision, maybe you're looking at hair from a different angle. Like I try to tilt my head. And sometimes I try to shrink my eyes, you know, just to add the filter effect. <laughs> but anyway, this is Vision. That was my time. I love you guys. Thanks a lot.